guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm thrilled to be partnering with Dishmatic for this video to show you a recipe for delicious pink pancakes. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and they've collaborated with Breast Cancer Ireland to bring out a pink Dishmatic for the occasion. The pink Dishmatic will be available in Tesco, Dunn stores and Super Valley throughout the month of October, so make sure to pop in and get one. So to begin with, I am going to be making a buckwheat pancake base and to make them pink, I'm going to be adding some amazing beetroot puree. To make the beetroot puree, I actually did this last night just to save a little bit of time. And what I've done is just bake the beetroot in a little bit of tin foil at about 190 to 200 degrees for about an hour until softened. Then once that's done, allow the beetroot to cool peel it and then blend it and that's all that you have to do. Look at the colour, it looks absolutely great. So I'm going to start off by making my batter for the pancakes and I have one cup of buckwheat flour. Buckwheat is something that I've just recently started cooking with since I had Michelle from Peachy Palette on my channel and they make great pancakes. To that then I'm going to add a little bit of cinnamon, some baking powder, that'll allow your pancakes to rise. Then I have a tablespoon of agave for sweetness. You can use maple syrup or honey, whatever you prefer. Personally, I just think that agave works really well because it has a nice kind of rich, smooth flavor. And then I am going to add one egg and I'm going to whisk these together. I'm gonna then add a cup of almond milk, but I'm gonna add it slowly. You might not need all of it, it just depends on how the batter works for you. So I've added about half to begin with. So you can see that it's coming together in a nice thick batter, but in order to make pancakes out of it, I do wanna add a little bit more liquid. So I'm gonna put another dash of almond milk in and then I'm going to add some vanilla extract. I love this one, it's really, really good. It's about a teaspoon, I would say, but I always go for just two caps. And then our all important beetroot to make it pink. Just look at the color of that, it just really looks so stunning. And then I'm just gonna mix that together. The mixture's looking really nice. I'm just gonna add one last dash of almond milk just to loosen it out that final touch and a little bit of coarse salt. The coarse salt just helps for the flavors to pop. So you can see my batter is nice and thick. That's the exact consistency that you want to be going for. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set it aside for two or three minutes to rest and then I'm gonna get going on the pan with pancakes. My batter's been resting for a couple of minutes and I'm getting my pan nice and hot. I like to use a spray oil for these just to make sure that they don't stick. And if they do stick, the Dishomatic comes in so handy for scraping it off. So we've got a good amount of oil on the pan and now it's time to add the batter. So I like to use a ladle for this and then just kind of hope for the best that you get a nice round shape. My pancake stack is ready and all that's left to do before I get creative with my toppings is to give my pan a little bit of a clean down. So how good does this pan look? Two seconds with the Dishmatic. Anyone who knows me will know that I'm not really given to cleaning my pots and pans. I'd normally just throw them in the dishwasher, but honestly, I'm converted. If I can get it that clean that quickly, I'll be using it from now on. So now it's time to top the pancakes. I'm going with some coconut yogurt on top. You can use anything you like, really. This is where the fun part starts. So here you have my absolutely perfect pink pancakes. I'm so thrilled to be partnering with Dishmatic and Breast Cancer Ireland for October to increase awareness and get some donations through for Breast Cancer Ireland. It's a cause that's really close to my heart and I was thrilled to be asked to be involved. If you'd like to donate, you can check out the link in this description box below and Dishmatic themselves will be donating 5,000 euro 
for the campaign. And one more time, if you want to get your hands on these really cute and now one of my favourite kitchen appliances, head over to Super Value, Tesco or Dunn Stores throughout October. Thanks guys!